Hi, I'm Don Bacon, and I'm the congressman from the 2nd District of Nebraska, uh, right here in Omaha. Uh, and I want to, first of all, congratulate you. Being an Air Force cadet or an academy cadet is an incredible achievement. It is so competitive and selective to get into, and it says a lot about you. And uh, I know today for Nebraska Night for the Academy, it's to uh, bring the folks all throughout the state and the local area that, are, that have been selected for the Air Force Academy. So I hope you have a great uh, night together. If I could offer just a few words of wisdom, uh, by virtue of you being at the Air Force Academy, I already know that you're, you're intelligent, uh, you're a good athlete, and th those things are important. God's blessed you. But never forget that in the end, character and hard work are the most important things that uh, will, will help you be successful in your career. I've met a lot of intelligent folks uh, who are very talented who've gotten themselves in trouble. Uh, because they they didn't carry their moral compass around and try to cut a corner or thought they could do something without getting caught. And it results in them getting fired out of the military or court-martialed or ruining their family. And so I just always remember character is the most important thing and it always will be uh, for your entire life. But on top of that, I would say a second thing is how do you work with other people? I have some very intelligent folks who are very talented, but they don't work well with others. And the Air Force is the ultimate team sport. We gotta work well together. If you wanna be a commander, I've commanded 8,000 people in one command, 7,000 in another, and I had three uh, smaller commands. You gotta know how to work with people, respect them, have the good eye-to-eye -eye contact, and, and they need to know that you care for them. And so I, I urge you to think about those two things, the importance of character and hard work, but also working well with others. And I'll just also say that when it comes to leadership, we always need leaders that have moral courage to do the right thing. You're gonna find times in, at the academy, but also after the academy, where you can tell something's not going right. But sometimes people are reluctant to speak up because they don't want to stand out. But we need people that are willing to stand out and take a stand. And if you're doing it every day, there's probably something wrong, because that, I mean, it could be on you uh, and some issues that you're having. But trust me, there's gonna be times when you're in a unit or something isn't going right. And hopefully it's not often, but when it happens, we need you to stand up and be counted. And so moral courage is so important that, uh, for our institution. I would also just suggest that we need people to have a balanced life. I have seen so many folks who put all their eggs in the professional work, uh, then they shortcut, they shortchange their family, shortchange their health, and or, their, or they don't grow spiritually or intellectually. So I ask you to have a plan every year. I, so every year I check up with a plan. What's my professional goals? What are my spiritual goals? Well, what, what, like, what chapters in the Bible do I want to focus on or, or what verses to memorize? I uh, want to have a reading goal so I can grow intellectually. I want to have goals for my family and so how our family can grow, st grow stronger. And then also physical fitness goals I think are very important. So again, congratulations to me at the Academy. I, I still serve with the Academy. I'm on the Air Force Academy board and it's uh, one of the finest institutions in our country and they only pick the best and they picked you. Have a good night.